In this video, we're going to have a look at how to build this simple device selector with an animated icon in Figma. We're going to recreate this component right here and we're going to start by selecting the text tool and typing desktop. The font is going to be Avenir Next, Demi Bold and 16. Then we will create a copy of this that will say mobile and also using the rectangle tool we will create this uh, toggle button. The dimensions are going to be 286 by 61. 286, 61. It's going to be black with the rounded corners. And also there's going to be a second rectangle that kind of moves around when you click it. So this one is 139 by 53. But we're going to duplicate this one. 139 by 53. And this one's going to be white. Let's place it. I'm going to press the Alt key to make sure that all these dimensions are identical. When selecting an element and uh, holding the Alt key, it's going to show you all uh, these, you know, kind of the distances in relation to other elements on the canvas. You need to hover over these. Yeah, you can measure distances very quickly like this. We're going to move this text on top of this. Also bring that to front. So I'm going to press Command, Option, and then the right bracket. to Bring this to the front, align this to the center, and second one as well. But this one's going to be white. And we're just going to make sure, that, you know, that it's properly aligned by duplicating this white rectangle, uh, making sure that it's right next to the left one, and then aligning the text with this one. So basically, if this one moves over here, we want to make sure that it's right at the center of the text, or rather the text is at the very center of the rectangle. And so now we have this toggle button already. Now we're going to create the icon. So we're going to use the rectangle tool and then the path tool. So these, these strokes are going to be four pixels thick. This one is 50 pixels wide and the screen kind of that then transforms to the shape of the phone dimensions are 192 by 112 and the distance is 16. Now we need to change the fill or remove it completely and add a stroke center aligned with four pixels and also it's going to have rounded corners 16. This is it. Uh, this is the icon that's going to change then we need to use the rectangle tool once again by pressing R and then creating the whole background for this element. So the size of this is 360 by 310 and the rounded corner radius is 60. I'm gonna move this one to the background by pressing command option left bracket and then position all of these on top of the background. Good, now we are ready to set up the interaction. So we will select this whole thing that we created and go here to create a component. This component is going to be called device selector and it's going to have a property that's going to say that's going to be called device. In the first state the property will be desktop and the second one is going to be mobile. And now we need to modify the icon so that it looks like a phone. So what we need to do here is change the size of this big rectangle and then move this line upwards and then sh shrink it a little bit, you know, make it less wide. So the dimensions of the big rectangle is now going to be 74 by 128. So that's 74 by 128. And we move that to the center. And we also need to select second line. And the line is kind of the distance from the edge of the phone is nine pixels. So we're gonna select that. I'm pressing down command while clicking an element. That way that's, that's a direct selection. You can select uh, elements that are even within groups. So normally when I hover over, I don't have the option to select the desktop text. But when I press down command, I'm able to select that directly. And the width of the line will be 34 pixels. And I'm gonna center that as well. So whenever you're creating a component with changing states and you want any anything, you know, any smart animation, meaning uh, any element that will be changing sizes and positions, you have to tell Figma that these elements are connected. 
And the way that Figma reads this is basically through later names. So if I'm gonna have, if this rectangle is gonna be called a screen and in this variant is gonna be called screen as well, Figma knows that when I smart animate these, when I create the automatic animation, it realizes that it's the identical element and it's gonna auto animate. So in this case, it's not called screen, but it's called rectangle seven, as you can see right now. So both of these have the same name. So whenever you are creating any animation and it doesn't work the way you intend it to, uh, make sure to check that um, the names are identical in all, in both of the, the variants that you are, you know, in, in both of the frames that you are working on. Um, now we will go, now obviously we need to change the state of this toggle button. So we're gonna move this rectangle over here and then change, again, I'm pressing down command then change the colors of the text, in this case, and white here. Cool, that's it. Now we need to connect those. So I'm gonna go to prototype and select this one, this toggle button, and then click and drag it over here. And on click, change to device mobile. It's gonna smart animate, ease in and out, and it's gonna take 200 milliseconds. Now the same will be applied here. Again, since I did this already, you're gonna have to set it up. You'll, you'll have to check and go through if this is identical. Now we're gonna remove the old one and go to assets. And we have only the new one. Click and drag over here to place on the frame center and let's test what we created. And it works as intended. The desktop is morphing into a mobile phone and the mobile phone is morphing back to the desktop when we select. So that's how you created an animated device selector in Figma. If this video brought value to you, I would appreciate you leaving a like. Make sure to subscribe if you're interested in this type of stuff. I do quite a lot of tutorials on Figma and components and UI design. So, so if that's something that interests you, you're in the right place. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the next one.